Uh, Will Green, uh, first pick night one, so big ruckman, uh, elite endurance, uh, really good footy IQ, uh, uh, come from a cricket background and had a terrific second half of the season, all Australian, uh, so we're excited to have him at the club. In terms of development, where do you see the best of him? Maybe a project player or you expect him to come on in the next 24 months? I think next 24 months. He's 92 kilos, so for a young ruckman that's quite uh, quite heavy. Uh, so we think, and he's still he's such a good runner, that he'll be able to carry the extra weight that he, he will put on. But um, yeah, next 24 months can see him you know, developing well and, and having a role to play. And I dare say Coxie will play a pretty good role in his development. I hope so. Yeah, put the pressure on him now, Coxie. Um, but yeah, perfect mentor to have and with Brody Grundy as well at the club will be great to learn from in match practice and around the club. Boarding Caden and Cleary, obviously an yeah. academy boy. Um, is that the sort of range you're expecting the bid to come in? Uh, look, it probably uh, was a fraction early, but we had some intel that it would come in that range. Uh, and we, yeah, we considered it and prepared to match it and great to have him aboard. Yeah, no doubts in, in terms of matching the bid in that range as well. You were pretty set on, on getting him in. Yeah, we think he was in that in that bracket for our in our ratings. Uh, just see him as a competitive inside mid uh, who had a great championships and really improved during the course of the year, which is a good indicator of future development. So Pat Snell, he's the key defender, uh, more of a lockdown, very competitive, good speed, power. Uh, Brisbane Lions Academy and played for the Allies under Spike McVeigh who was really impressed with his character um, and we see him as uh, a player that fills the need but he's also got a good level of ability. I was going to ask about Spike's uh, I guess feedback from Snell, what was his main uh, positives that he drew out of it? The, the main one was the competitiveness that for the role we see him playing as a key defender, probably more lockdown, was you need to compete, you need to have some athleticism and he ticks both of those boxes. Similar question to that of Will Green, where, where do you see his development in the next couple of years? Look, most usually the Queensland boys are, uh, take a little bit more time, um, but yeah, no ceilings on them, but um, look, he's got a few good players in front of him, but you know, Dane Rampy, those sort of guys, great role models to learn from and yeah, we think that will fast track his development.